Well, hello everyone, this is Stevio, and we are back in Minnesota. Yes, this might make some of you a little disappointed, but I sold my Ford service truck. So I wheel and deal, I make some money, it's just normal. I can't just keep a truck for very long. So it is a cold, above freezing though, morning here in Minnesota, which is really bad because that means we cannot get into the field because they are way too sloppy still we got a lot of rain a lot of moisture in there what is buck doing in the middle of the road here come on buck get out of here Buck, seriously i know i know you hate to see me go sorry buck sorry buck i gotta go we still need to clean off all the mud off the top of the tractors, all the caked in mud. We ended up waiting until the ground froze a little bit until we can get out all the vehicles. The only problem with that is all that mud is caked on and we had to wait until it, it warmed up a little bit so we could get it sprayed off because we got mud all over the place. Look at my truck here. It is just coated in mud. If you could see here, we haven't even unloaded all the grain carts. The harvesters in there are still full. The trucks are still full. We still need to take a load to the ethanol plant. We are just behind. All right, uh, what first? Oh my goodness, so much stuff to do. Probably get the trucks headed to the ethanol plant so we can offload the stuff in the harvesters and get it running through the dryers. Whoa, 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 whoa. Friendly, friendly. Calm down. All right. So Zach's driver is actually going to take my truck. So we're going to we're going to park this truck over the pit. Start unloading up all, offloading all the grain carts, the harvesters, and then start a big old washing team here. Sounds fun, huh? Start this up. Get the air running here. Probably start firing up all these uh, tractors while we're at it. First one, fire my beast. Yeah, we probably should pull this just outside the shop so we don't smoke out Zach's uh, shop there. Oh yeah, warm that thing up. Yeah, we might wait a little bit for the harvesters. All right, drive this over the pit. All right, first thing we gotta do, we gotta get this weight off the harvesters, that's for sure. Very carefully get this thing out of the sh shed there. Oh, whoa, oh, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh. Seriously, seriously. Seriously, get out of my way, bud. Yep. There we go. Offload this quickly. All right, we're going to keep that in the middle of the yard so we can watch it. Our ditch, are you going to stay here so you can get washed? All right, all right. You want to get washed? It's up to you. I love how that ladder folds up on this thing. So powerful. The hydraulics just freaking fly all over the place. Yep, we just, the flag just barely makes it out of there. Where'd he go? I don't see him. Is he? Alright. Doesn't have a care in the world, ditch. Almost done there. Oh my goodness. Look how dirty that grain tank is. Whew. Oh, that's just disgraceful. Watch out, ditch. Okay, Ditch, you're gonna get yourself into trouble one of these days. You know. Oh, oh, oh. Are you gonna seriously run under the combine? Holy cow, Ditch. I'm gonna have to teach you. I will never forgive myself if I run you over, Ditch. Oh, man. The trucks are back here. Slow down, slow down. You're gonna hit Ditch. Time to get muddy mess out here. Watch out, Ditch. Start offloading onto the trucks that just got back here. There we go. 
while this is all offloading, I think I'm gonna start washing this girl down. Where? Hey, ditch. Oh, yeah, you need a bath ditch? There you go. Yep. Oh, my goodness. We are gonna be here a while. I wish I could uh, snap my fingers. Oh, wait. Zach taught me a trick. Ditch, get off the tractor, bud. Jeez, ditch. Voila! That's how millennials do it. The whole harvesting fleet is completely washed. Yeah, buddy. All right, so I just got a phone call. One of my buddies found out there is a guy that was kind of a collector. He's going to sell some trucks. You know me, I like wheeling and dealing. And uh, maybe, you never know, I might flip them. Or I might keep them. But they sound like very unique type trucks probably not as unique as this uh, Bigfoot here yeah that's that you don't find that every day let's just say yep just playing a little joke on Jim uh, I, he uh, he got mad at me and wanted me to wash his truck because if you remember I was the one watch out ditch the one that ended up getting a dirty I'm gonna wash it I'm gonna make him uh, sweat it out a little bit so uh, see just how far I can push him before he snaps. Man, do I love this truck. Good looking Chevy. Uh, where, oh, 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 buddy. Oh, lady, you're walking in the middle of the road there. Weirdo. Alright. Where is this place at? I think it possibly might be over here, open anyways. Uh, maybe not. Uh, looks like I took the wrong driveway. I'm in somebody else's yard right now. Oopsies. There's a turn we need. Okay, go by the pump house here. And at least we're not the only ones that have a uh, corn still in our fields it is getting late late into the fall and uh, Zach is getting pretty uh, pressure to get the corn out but I think as long as it freezes here right away we should be able to get right back into the field Ooh we got a lot of Fords here look at all these Fords here Ooh, beautiful beautiful looking Fords all right we got a uh, 90s I think series F350 power stroke with a whip antenna CB in there uh, a dually 4x4 very clean interior oh man sounds good even love the bench seats yeah this would be be a nice truck to have. Ooh, wow, this is definitely uh, not an old man truck here. Man, wonder if he bought this for his kid or something. Looks like we have a Ford F-150, kind of tricked out, kind of blacked out the blacked out the bumper and the grill and painted everything else white. Nice. Very clean. Even has aftermarket fuel forged rims on it. FX4 off road. Man, that would be. I think if we get a, the right price, that would be a quick flip because uh, a young man would love that truck, I think. Wow. We got a power stroke here. A oh, good looking power stroke. Hmm. Looks like it has a cream two-tone with red. Oh, ho, ho. Listen to that power stroke. That thing purr. Oh, ho, 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 ho. This is one of probably my favorite looking Fords, I have to say. Oh, yeah. Yep. And uh, F350 XL. Got the wood trim, the red seats. 
Look at this beautiful red interior that somebody obviously redid. I'm not sure why they did the interior and left the outside so neglected. Oh man, love the sound of this truck. What a good looking truck. That's a concern because all the dash lights are on, which uh, we might have a problem. I gotta get it nice and cleaned up. I can't, I can't leave it like this. Man, is that, I love that body style. You just can't find these very often anymore. They're all rusted out or uh, abused, run down. Oh, we got an old custom hunting truck here. I am uh, impressed. I don't know why the tailgate's on here though. Wow, these are tough offers to make. Love it, love it. You have to let me know which truck, which Ford, do you want me to have? Man, there's so many options here, I can't even decide myself. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget, like the video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time over here in the Minnesota slot. Later, y'all. Yeah, yeah, he forced me to clean it. We're not gonna talk about it. <laughs>